like skeptical kind of like about the different stuff that's out there and like we've heard a lot of good things about this stuff but i guess like in the day-to-day -day, like what do you kind of say to people that's like this is like one of the main benefits of doing it and kind of like if there is any signs of like improvement like what would they be and so like what's kind of like the the spiel that you guys kind of like tell people yeah yeah, yeah. no and uh, again thanks for reminding me to record i I'm, I'm recording it to the cloud so you can okay i'll give you okay. my and stuff as long as you don't hack my business <laughs> you're good <laughs> and empty my bank account um but uh yeah it's, it's pretty simple it's um they are plant powders that's it plant powders at the end of the day um really there's there's nothing that it does specifically because it's not medicine but because it is food floods the body with a hundred thousand different phytonutrients Mm -hmm. um, apples, mangoes, cherries, pineapples, dates, and those are and 11 different fruits, 11 different vegetables, 11 different berries. So you, you can see some of these in the background here, um, which I'm sure Justin gave you some of those too. But, um, and when your body has those, that food, then every single system is supported. So you get stuff like, for me personally, I used to have acne scars all over my face, like pits from you know, uh, not just the acne itself, but all the medicine that I was taking. Um, they put me through the regimen all the way up through Accutane. Um, I don't yeah. know if you know, if you're familiar with that, but it's. Yeah, my wife actually, she had pretty bad acne um, during high school and then it flares up every now and then throughout college. So, but she never was on Accutane. Yeah, yeah, it's this dangerous stuff. In fact, the package, you know, even says on every single pill multiple times, you know, do not take if you're pregnant. You yeah, take you're pregnant, you know, and uh, yeah, so they just completely got rid of my acne scars. Like you can't even tell I had, I have, I had pits or anything like that. Um, and then my inflammation with my joints, because like I said, I used to uh, coach volleyball and softball, and I used to be in the high state marching band. So that's mm. me up there. Sweet. Um, so everyone who goes through the high state marching band ends up with knee problems. Mm. Well, not me because <laughs> i've gotten rid of them like i used to have to take four advil whenever i'd go out snowboarding and you know diving on this on the on the courts and um none of that anymore i got completely got rid of all my medicine and advil and glucosamine chondritin um, wow. yeah gut health too because um you know it's the a lot of us don't realize that we are um not lactose intolerant but somewhere along that spectrum. I mean, humans aren't necessarily supposed to be able to digest milk um, past infancy. Mm. Uh, so like most of us have some sort of adverse reaction that we're not aware of until we completely cut out dairy from our diet and then we feel lighter. That's yeah. what happened to me. With this, you know, the Juice Plus, com uh, the Juice Plus community, we, the accountability piece comes in too. Like we help each other make it fun, make it, uh doable make it affordable and we do it in community so we're all like holding each other high with this um so you know just very similar going to the gym yep you can stay you're going to the gym but if you have an accountability partner to go with you then it might be worth paying the extra 10 bucks to go to the gym right so the lifting buddy that holds you high mm -hmm. you know, and push you, um, when the going gets tough yeah yeah, Juice Plus is more than just, hey, take these capsules because, you know, no one wakes up in the morning and it's like, you know, what? I can't wait to eat capsules. <laughs> what? <laughs> <You're> crazy. <Yeah. laughs> and then it's not like they taste good or anything. The gummies do. These, these gummies, they're fruit. It's the same thing as this. Okay. So they're in a, in a gummy form. Um, so, I mean, they're delicious, um, but... You know, it, it's not about um, getting excited about eating capsules. Um, and I say eat, not take, because you, you take vitamins and you take medicine, but you eat food and that's, that's what this is. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's, it's because I get up in the morning and I don't want to have Alzheimer's. Mm. Or I get up in the morning and I don't want to die of a heart attack. Or I get up in the morning and I want to be around when my, you know, my kids grow up, um, and 
graduate and get married and I don't want to die of cancer. All three of those took away my mom, both of my grandparents on my dad's side and both of my parent, my grandparents on my mom's side. Oh man. So I know it's in my genes. So the, the, the difference maker is turning on the good genes and suppressing the bad genes. That's what it's all about. And most of that, 80% of that is environmental. You know, it's nature versus nurture. Nature is your DNA. It's, it's it, you can't change any of that. That's the way that God made your physical being. Yeah. But the nurturer is how do we activate, turn on and, and build onto that nature piece? The nurture is our environment, mm -hmm. primarily what we put in our mouth. Because right. you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. you know, so like I've got this, this whole time I've been chowing down on walnuts. So, <laughs> walnuts are great for brain. And they've got healthy omegas and stuff like that in them. You can find those in, in most seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm literally building my body out of walnuts right now. And your bones out of walnuts and your eyes out of walnuts, your brain out of walnuts. But your body doesn't just need walnuts. It needs the whole spectrum of plants. Mm -hmm. The difficult piece is we don't eat enough quantity of plants. We don't eat the quality of plants, nor do we eat the variety of plants. Yeah. It's the quantity, quality, and variety. So I can, I can afford to eat, you know, a Big Mac every now and then if I want to, I haven't I, in a while, but yeah, because I'm, I'm so much in the positive. I, I literally eat. 50 fruits and vegetables before noon every day. Yeah. So if I eat a Big Mac, then I'm still in the positive, you know? And if I, uh, at night, then I, I take another dose. So I eat another 50 fruits and vegetables an hour before going to sleep. Yeah. That's what our cardiologist recommends. Cause you want to, you want to flood your body, your blood with those building blocks. Mm -hmm. So you can actually repair all the oxidative stress that happened throughout the day, whether it was mental stress, spiritual stress, or physical stress. So you're building physiological durability. It's not about avoiding, you know, your, the, the stress of the day. It's how fast can you get back up? Yep. Recover. That's the difference between Olympians and, you know, your peewee league. <laughs> It's, you know, you can train all day and you can train hard and train harder and harder, but it's the recovery that matters. You can recover right. faster than your competition, then you've got the leading edge. You're going to recover from Big Macs with a bunch of empty calories that have this much nutrients, or you want the nutrient density to, so almost everything you're eating is actually made of nutrients, not empty calories. Mm -hmm. That's what Juice Plus is. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been really cool like to see because I was trying to pinpoint like trying to tell my wife or just anyone like what's the difference that I've seen so far and like I was telling her before I started doing that like being at home I don't get enough stimulation with my brain and I feel like sometimes I'm like in a haze or like I'm staring at a computer screen all day and like I feel like I'm lacking some some things that are like like I would get stimulation at work or other things but like taking this, I feel like more energized, more awake, and like, I'm just ready to go. And also like I have, well, we're trying to figure out, I don't know, but I feel like I have an overactive bowel as well. And so that's one thing that since I started taking it, I've been very consistent and my stomach hasn't hurt as much, which has been pretty remarkable because like I, I have cut out, like we switched to almond milk and um, we don't do, we very much cut down on the dairy aspect. Like I can't have a lot of cheese usually. And so like having this, it kind of like, like you were saying, it counteracts it. So it definitely helps me quite a bit. So, and even like, cause I work out a decent amount. I try to do like five, five out of the seven days. And so like, I definitely have like a better recovery time, even because I'm not taking protein anymore. I wanted to stop protein um, just to see, because like, I, I've always been big into like making sure my body has like the best stuff that is helping me recover, but also like rejuvenating everything that I lost. And so there's a lot of different like companies that I'm still weary of because like 
I don't know exactly what they put in there and I don't exactly know the process in which they do that. So I've been trying to collect, like stray away from that to see like what else is out there and to see like, you know, how is, how would juice plus help me and like just the overall process of working out. So I definitely, I don't know if it's like a huge difference or if it's placebo, but it definitely, I have seen it in the area of like focusing and my bowel um, as well. So that's like two things that I've automatically have seen have been a whole lot better. Yeah, no, that's awesome. You know, most people don't have an immediate uh, response in their body. Um, some people do. Um, and some people have such a profound experience within 24 hours, 48 hours. Hmm. That it's, it, it's like even to the point where it's, it's questionable. It's like, what? Yeah. 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 Because you don't, I mean, you don't eat an apple and then all of a sudden feel so much energy. Right. <laughs> right. But if you eat an apple, pineapple, dates, cherries, pineapple, and, and then you're also eating kale and uh, tomatoes and parsley and all, and you're getting all these nutrients from the, these anti or all these antioxidants from different types of berries that your body has never had before. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it activates different chemical cycles and pieces of your DNA that has never been activated before. Right. And so you're like, what is going on? And probably give you a, a, a little warning too. Um, not everyone go, uh, has an, a, an upswing immediately. Some experience a detox mm. because when they're flooding their body with all this healthy, pure quality nutrients and they're used to eating you know, horribly, their body has to get rid of the bad to make room for the good. Yeah. And it, and it sounds like you've been, you know, as an athlete, you know, and your wife as an athlete, you're probably pretty used to evaluating what I eat and how I perform. Mm -hmm. How important is it that? Yeah. So, like, I, I love experimenting on my body. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I'll do like, I'm going to eat some cheese before I go to sleep. See what happens. <laughs> I don't know if yep. you know, the cheese actually affects your dreams. Hmm. And different, even to the different type of cheese that you eat. <laughs> that's funny because i've only heard that like if you go to bed on an empty stomach it would give you more of like uh pretty crazy dreams because your body is not digesting any food so then it, like somehow has like an enhancement on your dreams or something like that but my wife has been telling me like i do crazy stuff like i talk to her all the time and like i sometimes get up and like i walk around and stuff so I don't know if, if anything is correlated to what I eat at night, but it's been crazy. She has funny stories that I don't recall at all. So <laughs> she should record you. Like <laughs> right. <laughs> I wake up and I'm like, babe, are you okay? And she's she's fast asleep. And I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, Yes, I'm fine. And then I'm like, I'm like, okay. So like I'm subconsciously making sure she's fine. But then like I would have a conversation with her and like yeah, some she gets so upset sometimes, but I'm like, I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's often, you know, the, the science behind that is you have so much bandwidth of energy in you, right? Um, and part of that is is a calorie count, but it also is dependent on nutrient density, right? Uh, we just we get to understand that it's not about how many calories does this have or how much uh, vitamin A or C or whatever, it's, um, you know, the, the 100,000 different nutrients, how much of that mm -hmm. uh, is, you know, is percentage of that, those calories. But the other piece of that is, you know, the energy that you have in your body gets to be distributed to the different systems. So for instance, as an athlete, okay, um, what sports did you play? Soccer, uh, for the most part, and then I do occasional basketball. Okay, cool. So let's take the soccer, for instance. Um, if you're playing soccer, then you're in the game. Most of that energy is being distributed to your blood vessels that are surrounding your muscles. So those are uh, vasodilated. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of that energy is being focused out into um, 
your your motor neurons, um, your uh, your brain, so coordination going back and forth. Uh, but it's taken away that blood supply from your digestive tract, from your urinary tract, from your reproductive tract, right? So um, most of that bandwidth is being tied up into that particular muscle system or that those systems. You know, when you are sitting down for a meal, then that energy is focused on your digestive tract. So you can ingest, take in, digest, cut it up, mm -hmm. absorb the food, and then eventually excrete it. Right? Those are the four different steps of your digestive tract. Ingest, digest it, absorb it into the body, right? Because you have to, we, have, we get to understand that it's not about putting in my body. It's not actually in my body if it's in my stomach. Yeah. It gets to be cut up into smaller pieces, chemically and physically, so it can be absorbed into the blood. Now it's actually in my body. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it just goes right through me. Like right. big donut. Like, so once it's, uh, you know, your digestive system, you know, has it in the body, then it can be distributed, you know, circulated around to the, your extremities and your brain and all that kind of stuff. But if you eat before you go to sleep, then all that energy, your, your bandwidth is being tied up in your digestive system. And so you can't sleep right. You can't mm. relax right. Because your body is still trying to digest all that food, you know? The nice thing about Juice Plus is it's already digested. It's in a powder form. It's a, it's a you can literally open up the capsule and it's all powder. Right. Powders. So you can eat it an hour before going to sleep and flood your, your blood. Mm -hmm. because you ingest it easily. You don't have to digest it. It just completely absorbed. Right. And all this, all the research studies done by leading universities, they show that it's a hundred percent absorbed into the body, something mm. called bioavailability. And there's not a lot of research on, um, on vitamins, isolated vitamins that show that it's bioavailable. They can actually mm. go into the blood. Wow. So you're pooping out most of that vitamin. Yeah. Well, that it was funny. I don't know why we were talking about it at work that because uh, we were talking about taking vitamin D on like cloudy days and like during like the winter and stuff. And I think one of my coworkers was saying that vitamin D actually, for the most part, is excreted. Like it's not I mean, there is a certain amount that is taken in, but he said for the majority it is excreted. So you only get like a certain percentage that actually gets into your body and helps you. Yeah. Yeah. Vitamin D is great. Um, and actually I supplement with vitamin D. It's the only vitamin that I, that I mm -hmm. supplement with because I get all the other phytonutrients from plants. Yep. Vitamin D is one of the very few, um, that you can really only find in animals or mushrooms. Okay. So the other piece of that is this, this is a, um, this is, the meal replacement or meal supplement okay pre-workout after post you know post-workout or a meal um and it's got it's 17 plants that's all it is 17 plants that have been dehydrated mm. and there's plenty of uh fruits vegetables and grains in there including mushrooms you get your vitamin d from this as well mm. but i also um you know get some some high quality vitamin D just, you know, from Kroger or whatever. Yeah. Because vitamin D is super important for, um, calcium absorption. So building strong bones and muscle, um, for your mood. Um, you know, you hear the winter blues, Yeah. Real, especially here in Ohio, you don't get much sunlight. <laughs> you're not converting the cholesterol in your skin into vitamin D. Yeah. So, your mood is and it's lethargic and you feel, you know, you lack that energy. And, um, and nowadays, um, vitamin D is especially important for your immune system. You're not getting the, the vitamin D, then it, it affects your immune system and your cardiovascular mm -hmm. completely tied together. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah so my I mom, yeah. Awesome. Growing, growing up my mom. So she's a, a nurse practitioner that specializes in cardiology. And so that's one thing that she always talks or she kind of 
raised my sister and I into just, you know, telling us like all the good and the bad and like what your body should consume and like talking all the time about heart health and like your cardiovascular system and like what you need to do to like help you, you know, not have all, you know, said diseases that can come from not having a healthy heart. And some of the things are just as simple as like a healthy diet and going for a walk. And so like just having those two things like consistent in your life, are going to reduce your heart disease that could potentially happen by, you know, dramatic numbers. Yeah. Unless it's Huge. genetic, <laughs> but. Huge. But. Yeah. And again, genetics play a part in it too, right? It's the nature. Yeah. Right. But 80% of chronic disease can be thwarted or sometimes even reversed using lifestyle changes, primarily nutrition. Yeah. So we, we, we have this idea that my grandparents passed away from this. My parents, you know, have this disease or passed away from this. And so we're victim to our genes. But the truth is like, you have control over that. Mm. Uh, to a not just a not just a uh, you know a little bit but the majority of that you have control over yeah yeah that's that's awesome how how has like your background in the microbiology kind of like help help understand like the breakdown of like juice plus compared to other stuff i know you talked about like the breakdown and like how you have to cut out that one uh, step of process so it goes directly into the blood but like what's yeah. one thing and like your background that's kind of like helped you see how effective like juice plus is compared to like other stuff actually josh i'm really glad that you asked me that because very little mm. very little um you know, I, so I, I went through uh, Ohio State with my microbiology, uh, sci secondary sciences degrees. Uh, after I finished up my master's, I, I taught here um, in Dublin, just down the road from you guys, right? Um, and biologies, chemistries, environmental sciences, all that stuff. But everything was based off of uh, one, Western medicine, which mm -hmm. there's a place to that. Yeah what we I often refer to Western medicine as pharmacology. So you learn about all the different drug names, you learn about the different biochemistry cycles and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and that's important. If you are, let's say, you get hit by a bus, you know, you want to know how to stop the bleeding. Yeah, you know how to get rid of that pain, that immediate extinguish the, the immediate threat of death. Right? You don't, if I get hit by a bus, I don't want you coming out and saying, hey, eat a bunch of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> You're like, get, give me the tourniquet. Like, yeah, <laughs> morphine. Like, right. There's a place for that. You know, if my cholesterol is super high to the point that I might have a heart attack in the next five minutes. Yeah. And yeah, I, I want a statin. And if I need a blood thinner, like, give me some Coumadin. Yeah. But I shouldn't be reliant on Coumadin for the rest of my life. Mm hmm. You know, so we're taught this um, in, you know, how many semesters of pharm pharmacology. If they have this symptom, then you give them this drug. This symptom, you give them this drug. And, you know, call it a money-making machine or big pharma or whatever. That, I mean, that's another discussion, right? Uh, but we have this idea, especially here in the U.S., that if I have a headache then just give me this quick fix. Yeah. Sometimes that's needed. And I've, I've done that too. Um, in the past, not so much anymore because I don't have headaches anymore, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't get sick anymore. So in, instead, you know, you look at what they have in, in these other countries that are older than 250 years, mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of years of Oh, well, you eat walnuts or you eat mushrooms or you eat some garlic or boil some ginger tea or something like that. It's, it's not that we're vitamin deficient. It's that we're whole food deficient. Right. That's the problem. Everything to, so to answer your question, I know that was sort of a, <laughs> you asked my background, how much does that play into my, you know, knowledge and business and juice plus very little. Mm. Because I was taught one way. Once I started learning about whole food nutrition, 
primarily through Juice Plus and the education they give you and what's available out there and all the different, you know, holistic doctors and chiropractors. And fortunately, a lot of Western medicine doctors are now converting into, let's pay attention to what we're putting in our bodies. Right. So I've learned all this stuff about like digestion and bioavailability and all that stuff. Like I didn't know what, I had never heard of the word bioavailability. Yeah, I me mean, neither until you said that. <laughs> Yeah. until juice plus hmm. and all my molecular genetics classes and biochemistry classes i took nine chemistry classes you would think that i'd have a chemistry degree right now but you know <laughs> um and all my micros and all that not once did they mention anything about micro or sorry uh, uh, about epigenetics which is turning on and off genes hmm. using your environment or nutrigenomics that's turning on and off genes using nutrients um, or bioavailability, the measurement of absorption into the body, mm. you know, yeah. um, or fractionated. So, um, you know, this has taught me about the differences between vitamins and whole food supplements. Okay. Vitamins. Let me ask you this. Um, and we, we can cut this out of the recording. So you're, you're not embarrassed <laughs> when your wife listens to it, but um, how many vitamins do you think ex exist in the world? Uh, 50. There are about 12 to 14. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's the, the only reason why we have those vitamins, vitamin A, right? We name them vitamin yeah. A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D is because, you know, studies have gone into the body and shown, oh, there's this chemical complex that's present in the eye and it's present in the blood. And we know that it has to do with certain cycles and we happen to find it in carrots and in apples. And so we're going to call it vitamin A. Hmm. And so scientists have reconstructed vitamin A in the lab, in the pharmaceutical world. It's not exactly the same vitamin A as you can find in an apple. Right. But it's close enough. So they've been able, they've gotten approval to call it vitamin A when it's mm. fake, fractionated, isolated, mega doses. Right. Vitamin A. Those are all terms that I've learned from my journey with Juice Plus in the past three years, okay? So you can overdose on vitamin A from a vitamin pill. In fact, it even says it on the label. You look at the multivitamin and, and it says, this is 400% vitamin A, 400 RDA, recommended daily allowance. 400%? Yeah. Of my recommended daily allowance, shouldn't that be like a red flag? Yeah. Shouldn't it be 100%? Not... 400 four times right yeah and then it says below that um a warning you know do not take if you are under the age of 12 mm. or if you consume more than the recommended daily dosage of two or whatever then call this poison control number <laughs> that should be another red flag right <laughs> right that's crazy if it's healthy for me then why do you have this poison control no number on it? If it's healthy for me, then why does it say do not take if you're pregnant? Right. Or check with your doctor before consuming this if you have heart disease or risk of seizures or all that kind of stuff. It's like, but an apple, you can eat 100 apples and you'll never overdose on an apple. Why? Because the vitamin A that God made is in the form of beta carotene. Right. Your body recognizes it. Your body knows what to do with it. And if it gets too much, then it just filters it out. Hmm. It fits within all the chemical constructs. It, it, your body knows. It's the nature and the nurture. They work in sync. Hmm. Right. But this man made, isolated, fractionated mega dose of vitamin A can be, can be harmful for you. you can, poison your liver and and it has to be filtered out by your kidney right and you end up with all these other problems and we're like man 
why don't why am i having a urinary tract infection oh just here take this drug hmm. to cover some you know to mask the symptom that the first drug right had been caused you know yep but one of the analogies that i've come up with and i just came up with came up with this analogy probably in the past like couple of months is um so you're a car guy right mm. okay this is my this is my my favorite childhood car i'm gonna test you <laughs> that's your knowledge what do you what is that is a dodge viper yeah yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> you know your guards you weren't lying <laughs> so this was ever since i was younger this has been my dream car will i ever buy one no because i'd be too afraid of parking it <laughs> um but let's say whoever designed this dodge viper okay came to you with the blueprints and said josh i, I want you to, to 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 build me this dodge viper it's it requires a hundred thousand different you know pieces from screws to tires to the paint to all sorts of like i'm, I'm not like a big car guy so yeah uh, just you know with with a grain of salt all these different components yeah make up a dodge viper and if uh one of your competitors said no no no, henry don't 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 give the project to josh like it's going to cost him eighty thousand dollars to build your your viper i can build it for a hundred bucks hmm. i'll build it for a hundred bucks and instead of having to use all the uh, of the the building blocks i'm just going to give you a 14. we'll make it out of a bunch of screws and glass hmm. I'm like, well, what about this, the iridium spark plugs, you know, and, and the, the, the brakes that, I, you know, that, that make the difference on a sports car. You're like, nah, we'll, we'll make the brakes out of screws. We'll just reshape them, <laughs> you know, and don't worry about the iridium, you know, spark plugs. Yeah. We'll, we'll go ahead and make those out of glass. It'll be good. It's, yeah. I, I've, I've, I figured out how to, to make fake glass and screws at mass production just get it from Costco and then you can, we'll build your, your Dodge Viper for a hundred bucks. You can build a ton of them, you make a ton of profit, right? What would you say to that, that, that builder? <laughs> He's out of his mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, w w w why not? Yeah. You know that if I build your Dodge Viper out of a bunch of screws and glass, What's going to happen to it? It's not going to perform. It won't perform. It's going to it probably end up dying early. Yeah. Right? Because it's not designed to be built out of just a few nutrients. Your body is the Dodge Viper. Mm -hmm. God designed your body to have 100,000 different building blocks. And the only reason why we eat vitamins is because we know we're not getting the 100,000 different phytonutrients from our food. So we take the, we cut the corners and we cheat it. And we think we're saving money on the front end, but in reality, we're paying it on the back end under the medical bills. Right. And if you have that heart attack, right? If you, if, if you don't do something about it beforehand, if you don't prevent it by eating the 100,000 different building blocks to make your Dodge Viper, then we end up with a heart attack, maybe in our 50s. Mm -hmm. And we all know that after you have that first heart attack, the quality of life is never the same. Yep. So very true. You know, it's the preventative, preventative medicine track. Preventing disease is so much better, easier, and it's it's worthwhile. Right. And trying to cover it up afterwards. Right. Yeah, it's very cool. I'm, I'm definitely, I've always been big into figuring out like what's the best thing for my body to input so I can get the most out of my body and performance wise and kind of just thinking back like how much stuff like I've consumed or have tried to. And it's the littlest thing like, you know, trying to prevent like kidney stones. It's like when you're dehydrated, you drink water, you don't go and chug a soda. And it's like the simplest thing like that, that you can like not run the risk of having this later down the road. It's like, 
give your body water. Like I'm really good about drinking water. A lot of people aren't. It's like, I have my 30 ounce, like this thing I go through yeah. probably, I probably yeah. go through yeah. like six or seven and I, it's like 250, 300,000 ounce or yeah, 300,000, 300 ounces a day. It's just yeah. because like, it's just, I mean, obviously, and there's a lot of different things like your water can have chlorine in it and whatever, but your body is at the end of the day getting water. So, and it's mm-hmm. your body's what I think it's 80, 75, 80% water. So it's just like replenishing that. And obviously like I can, I know when I start to get like a headache or something, or I feel like really just depleted, it's probably because I didn't have enough water and it's crazy. So that's just another small thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And And that's, I'm glad you said that too, because, um, you know, a lot of people have this idea that it's, if I'm not feeling well, then I take the Advil. I, that's my default, right? I go to the medicine cabinet. There's six world's best doctors is what I call them. And again, this is all that what I've learned from juice plus, right? Yeah. Six best doctors are nutrition. If you put in your body, you are what you eat exercise because that circulates it right out to extremities because it doesn't do any good just in your stomach you need to circulate it out to your your fingers and your brain and all that your hydration because every single chemical reaction in your body happens in the presence of water plus water filters you out Mm. rid of the bad stuff and makes room for the good right um air because you're a car guy right what are the two ingredients that a car needs in order to combust and, and and go in motion it's the yeah. nutrients the gasoline mm-hmm. which ironically is very similar to food in fact there are cars that you can you can run off of food right biodiesel yeah and you need oxygen in the right ratios and the truth is that fourth doctor there dr air we don't breathe like god designed us to we only breathe about one sixth of our lung capacity on mm-hmm. a daily basis. That's called your tidal volume. So you can have, you have all this extra room in your lungs called inspiration, which you inhale and expiration, which you can push even further after you've just done your regular exhale. So breathing exercises, oftentimes people think, oh, that's hocus pocus. <laughs> like that's like, that's for those weirdos who yeah. do breathing exercises. Like, if, if every single one of us took the time to take four controlled, deep, deep, deep breaths every morning, we wouldn't need coffee. Hmm. That's crazy. That's the fourth doctor, right? And so you have nutrition, you are what you eat, exercise, movement, getting it out to your extremities and boost your immune system, endorphins, all that kind of stuff. Um, you get hydration, circulate, flush, clean chemical reactions you have your air um you know because you have to combust that fuel that you just ate in your body um and then sleep rest right because that's when 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 does your body repair most when does it grow most right the body is actually building all the way down to the very smallest component your dna you're repairing that dna and duplicating it and making more cells and and fixing all those micro fractures in your in your bones and then the last one is sunlight like you said that one's also also ignored a lot mm-hmm. we think oh sunlight you need to get more sun that's hocus pocus <laughs> no it's like it's actually chemical like it's yeah. physiologically proven that you need sunlight <laughs> yeah yeah and then you get a balance of those six then one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one equals a hundred. Mm. They all synergize together. But when one of is one of them is lacking, then the other ones they try to make up for it and they can't. Yep. You gotta yep. harmonize all six of those together. That's cool. You know, it's another thing too, is like whenever I feel a headache coming on, uh Mor- Morgan is big into essential oils and stuff. And uh oh. it's it's crazy. I, I was definitely one that was like, okay, this is bogus. Like it doesn't work or whatever. And so I, if I, if, if I usually try 
and like try and use like I tried not to use Advil and I just use like mint like just rubbing it on the back or in my temples and like yeah. Yeah. it's it's quicker mm -hmm. acting than any Advil I've ever taken depending on the extent of my headache but usually if it's a minor one I mean it's gone within like minutes and it's crazy because I I never thought that it was possible and like we diffuse some in our room when we sleep and like she like a big she is uh I don't know if hers is young living I think it is she's young living and so she she has like a whole bunch of oils that she sells to um her family and stuff but yeah it, that's the other thing that we're big into is the oils <laughs> awesome young, young living and doTERRA those two are the only ones that that I use yeah and the, I, pr I promote both of those too yeah, um, I promote a lot of different products that are quality, but <laughs> yeah. I, I I look at the research behind it. I look at the 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 quality behind it um, before you know I start promoting it. Yeah, Young Living is top. Yeah, is top shelf. Yeah. yeah, I myself I use uh, the Copaiba. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, one of the world's uh, strongest natural anti-inflammatory. It's from a wood. Hmm. Uh, the bark of a wood um, was introduced to that uh, when I was out and I was climbing glaciers out in Glacier National Park um, and coming down from the mountain after eight days of climbing um, my both of my knees they just they gave out um, wow. and uh, I fell over it in in the restaurant that we were we stopped at on the way home and this uh, this kid comes up to me and says um, hey, I don't know. I mean, he says, he says, I noticed that you're having some knee pain and I'm rolling on the ground, like yelling in the middle of this restaurant, holding my knee. <laughs> I just, I just want to punch the kid. <laughs> like, no crap. Like, yeah, my, my knee hurts. And he says, I don't know if you've ever, um, you know, heard of essential oils. He said some blah, blah, blah. Of course I was in pain. He said, but if you just rub this into your knee, then I don't know, but it might work. It might help take away some of the pain. And so I'm like, whatever. He put two drops on my hand. I rubbed it in my knee. And within two minutes, I was standing, no pain. Wow. The only pain that I had was from my muscles tensing up so hard. And we drive home to our cabin. It was the last day that we were gonna be there. We had a 25 hour drive home the next day and they're like you gotta find out what that kid gave you because hmm. five hours in the car if your knee starts aching like that again right it was young living wow that was my first experience that opened my eyes to accepting essential oils hmm. on wow that's awesome that's a really cool story <laughs> i mean not not good that it happened to you but it's pretty yeah. cool that you had. <laughs> i don't wish that upon anyone <laughs> but, uh, that's cool yeah, so I, I keep that around with me you know as a just in case but i haven't had to use it in probably two yeah pro probably over two years now because i started use plus about three years ago okay so, and i haven't had any any knee pain or joint pain or anything like that wow but, but i recommend that like copaiba like yeah like it's 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 second to the bible like this is like, <laughs> But, uh, yeah that's awesome well i appreciate your time henry yeah definitely no, awesome good. getting to know you and getting to know the stuff a little more yeah yeah and i uh i'm not as familiar with uh cedarville but ocu um you know your wife might know a couple of people that i've worked with in the past i used to do um a bunch of youth ministry camps down there okay uh, it's called nipchin it's pretty close there we had some o OCU people come down and, and help out with uh, with camp counseling over the summers. Uh, my biggest one was Mount Hope Bible Camp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Many years, I was the I was the recreation director, the games guy in Ohio. So nice. <laughs> yeah. So some of some of her uh, professors or friends or colleagues might might know the name Henry. Sweet. I'll drop that down there. But, uh, yeah. Awesome. One quick question. Do you uh, have anything for like, I know you kind of showed me a little bit about like what was like the mushroom or the meal supplement in the back, but 
Yeah. Is there anything that like Juice Plus has that is like more workout focus oriented kind of stuff? Like kind of stuff maybe, I don't know if it's like a pre-workout pre -workout or like a protein, uh, anything that you guys have that Juice Plus does? Um, so it's pretty, pretty simple. There's Juice Plus doesn't have like thousands of different products. It's not like we've got this catalog that you got to memorize. It's yeah. five, that's it. Five products are fruits, veggies, berries, and omegas. Okay. And yes, they help you with recovery, with not getting sick as much with, um, I mean, all the way down to like, I work at a heart attack and stroke prevention center um, and complete health dentistry. Anytime we have someone who like is getting a wisdom tooth extraction, or we find out that uh, they're getting a hip replacement or knee surgery or ACL, whatever, then um, you know, we don't let them have that wisdom tooth extraction until they've been on Juice Plus for 10 weeks. Wow. Research shows that if, you, if you're eating Juice Plus, you, you have it, you primed your blood with all these nutrients, then you will recover faster. You have less nerve pain. Your range of motion will, will return faster and your quality of life is just going to be better. Wow. So it's like you come in and you need knee surgery. Okay, cool. Are you eating Juice Plus yet? Nope. All right. So you're going to start on Juice Plus today and we'll schedule your knee surgery or whatever for 10 weeks out. Wow. So, so those four. The last is, like you said, this stuff here, right? So those are something called micronutrients. Mm -hmm. Micronutrients are um, your vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, phytonutrients, like the hundred thousand different nutrients that you get from plants instead of, you know, the, the 12 isolated vitamins that we get from a multivitamin. Um, this is the fuel. So it's got the carbs. It's got your healthy fats. Okay. It's got your, actually, this is, this guy, this has more of the healthy fats than, than this. Okay. Omegas, omega threes, five, six, sevens, and nines in the okay. balance uh, ratios that your body needs from seeds. It's all vegan. There's no fish or anything. Okay. Um, and algae. This is what I use when um, I'm doing like a, like a pre-workout or post or something like that. Or if like I'm eating breakfast, I make oatmeal and I put this in it. So I'm okay. not just oats. I'm also getting quinoa and amaranth and pumpkin and pomegranate and you know again 17 plants and mushrooms yeah where I mix this in a shake if you want to do a protein shake as well and this is what this is what a lot of people have the misconception of this is not a protein shake mm. does it have protein in it yeah just like a salad has you can get protein from salad right this is more equivalent to the salad versus if I've got this for a visual like this is my Let's say this is my whey protein. Whey protein is like your steak. Yeah. It's isolated amino acids. And sometimes they put some sugars in there as well. Yeah. But it's but it's 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 concentrated protein. So this might give you 30 grams of protein, right? And it's it's all mostly protein. Which yeah. if that's what your your goal is, then sure, go for the protein. Um if your goal is to get your phytonutrients in for the day and, and a clean source, not from an animal source of protein, but an, a source of like the, um, the cleanest uh, pea, pea protein and soy protein, um, then, uh, you know, you can do half and half if you want. Yeah. Like I have some friends that do, you know, some of the whey protein and then some of this. So they get the concentrated amino acids and they know they have assurance that they're getting all these plants in as well, mm. you know, because this is, when you think about animal protein and I, I'm not vegan, um, I'm not vegetarian, but I've gotten really close to it. Yeah. Is when a cow eats all the grass and grain or whatever it's eating, right? Then that cow is stripping all the healthy nutrients from the plants yeah. and using it in its metabolism and its body and everything, right? And then it takes, it extracts the protein from the grass 
and builds it into beef. Mm. When you eat the beef, you're eating concentrated amino acids, but you're not getting the nutrients, the phytonutrients, because the cow already used the nutrients. Yeah. That's what meat is. Meat has its place. Mm. Right? There, you also have to weigh the, the pros and cons, the benefits and, and drawbacks, because the benefit is you have concentrated amino acid doses in yeah. meat. But then you also, some of the drawbacks are that it has, um, uh, when, it, when meat breaks down, it breaks down in a acidic form. So like your body becomes acidic, which is great for growing cancer. Yeah. When my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer, they told her, stay away from red meat, stay away from sugar, stay away from dairy. Mm. Because red meat creates an acidic environment in your body. Sugar feeds cancer. Cancer cells, uh, you can you put them into a Petri dish and stuff and you give them sugar water and they'll grow. Mm. And then dairy is a natural inflammatory, not just in your digestive system, but your immune system too. So it's like, if your immune system, your fighters, we would never inflame our army and then say, hey, go overseas and fight. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we do that inside of our internal army? Right. You know? Right. So our focus in Juice Plus is phytonutrients, quality, quantity, and variety. Awesome. Sweet. Well, I appreciate it, Henry. I got to bounce, but I yeah, appreciate you taking your time out of your day and letting me know about all the awesome benefits that it has. I'm definitely going to keep you and Justin updated on how it affects me. So hopefully my wife can hop on board, but I definitely appreciate it. And, I, and I've always had a fascination for, you know, what makes your body better and like definitely fulfilling and inputting so you can have the best output. So I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. And last thing too, and we can talk about this another time too, is because I don't know if you guys are planning on having kids at all. Mm -hmm. Yep. Justin's definitely said that it has the, <laughs> the definitely helps you with kids. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got a lot of success stories with that too. I, in fact, I have, I, I have two baby nieces and a nephew um, and just some great success with healthy pregnancies. And yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. It's a, it's a cool story. I mean, Justin and Courtney definitely have a cool story with that one too. And we're trying to not, not, they were trying to convince, but they definitely suggested to one other couple that was struggling for a while. So yeah. hopefully maybe that they would turn to that and see if that would help at all because anything can help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And priming that system too. Yeah. It's just important for the guy too. Right. Because my, that's one of the reasons why I like, I'm consistent with it every morning is because I know that there are, you've heard of generational sin before. Yeah. Passing down that. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a physiological thing that gets passed down in your, in your genes. Yeah. So you also have physio, you have sort of generational wellness. So I'm passing on generational wellness to my kids that I don't, I've never met before. I like, I don't, I don't have a girlfriend right now. <laughs> if you know anyone, let me know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm priming my system for that. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'll let you so go. We... And uh, I'll get you this recording too. Okay. Uh, and perfect. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll put it on like a private YouTube link or something like that so that you can, you can just okay. go to the URL. Awesome. I appreciate right. your time, Henry. Appreciate you, Josh. We'll see you. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. Yeah.